A group of international geoscientists have come together to put together a research paper pushing the idea that the impact of human life is so deep in this planet that it has shifted into a new geological epoch. Sasha, and this is, this is scary just to think that we come from 11,000 years of the last epoch, the Holocene, that is a pretty stable where the human was able to develop the use of the tools available or exploiting the natural fuels of the planet and building and spreading species all across the planet. And they say, these, the researchers say that it's exactly that that is showing the new epoch, the Anthropocene epochs. I mean, it's interesting, right? The periodic table is a living, breathing thing. So who's to say that in 200 years we won't discover new elements? We're discovering new elements now. And what they're really measuring with the study is how the chemical composition and the topography of the Earth is changing based on human manipulation. Mm -hmm. And that's a very scary thing um, because human beings, we do have a lot of runoff from our industries that are impacting the sediments and the chemical makeup of the earth. Exactly. They are talking about aluminum, concrete, plastic, fly ash, and the fall from nuclear test and nuclear activity that is shifting the epoch, the geological state of the planet. Uh, and they are talking about that this is already happening. This is an epoch that started 50 years ago in the mid 20th century. And they say that the, the same things that we attribute to the climate change debate are the same ones that are changing. This, that this is an evolution. It's all part of the same thing. This new epoch is, is called the Anthropocene exactly because it's the, the effect of humans on the planet. This is the moment where we are really going to see uh, the consequences of the industrialization of the planet, the, of progress, if you will. You know, it's interesting because human beings are one of the only species that aren't fully able to live in an environment without manipulating it drastically. Yes. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how these scientists and researchers are able to continue to prove this and what this does in the long run. Yeah, they've been doing this research. 24 different members of the Anthropocene Working Group is showing that the human activity is affecting the makeup of the planet. And we see that there's different minerals and different metals where they shouldn't be. And we see species in different, completely different habitats of where they are biological supposedly to be. And then we see global warming, the warming of the planet, the level of greenhouse emission gases around. And now they decided that that's reason enough to believe that the planet is moving into a new geological epoch.